My third question to you, sir, is the NIA has taken over the case today uh, at a time when certain parallels are being drawn with, uh, you know, the Mangaluru blast, the earlier blast that took place on Church Street in Bengaluru, as also the Shivamoga attack. Uh, what are you hearing? You've been a former minister. You are a currently an MLA. Uh, what is your sense of, uh, you know, what this might be? I know I'm asking you to guess, but, uh, you know, the, the many different, many different uh, theories have been put forward from corporate rivalry, you know, to terror, to other things. What is your sense, sir? Sir, see, trying to create uh, all kind of theories can happen now. But yeah. let me make it very clear. No, this kind of uh, a blast have not been new. It has been there for many years, many a blast has been keep happening, it has been happening. But it is the incident, the number of incident we are trying to reduce over the time. Uh, this kind of mindset or this kind of people with this kind of background do exist. It is not that, you know, uh, during our tenure nobody was existing, it, they were existing. But the present government, what is happening, they are trying to be, you know, more, you know, uh, having a cool approach towards all these people and leading to this, if you don't prioritize, if you don't make it very clear, this policing need to be more serious, the security concern need to be top prioritized because Bangalore city has been very well known as a uh, city of expats and international city, yeah. most happenings for startups or entrepreneurship or technology for many good reasons. We need to prioritize because our economy is dependent on a, a very a good law and order. If the safe city, if the if we miss that safety city tag, it it is going to hurt the future of the entire country, mm. or the state of Karnataka also very strongly. So keeping in this mind, the Congress government, they need to you know the links, uh, the similarity of the you know Kukar blast and the the blast what has happened near near the now Rameshwaram or the Shumaga blast, uh, you know having a common might be there, might be there. I don't know. But it's the uh, responsibility of the concerned investigation agency or the, even the police department. Whenever this kind of incident happens, the NI takes over. Now, the, since the cases has been handed over to the NI, we really appreciate the state government enabling the NI agency to take over yes. the investigation is a most welcome decision. And the right decision has been taken by the state government. We do really appreciate. But so far, you know, before this, prevention is better than cure. See, prevention hmm. should be, you know, given topmost priority. Probably they need to do their homework very seriously and ensure at that bias, you know, they need not have a soft approach. They need to be very clear when it comes to the law and order, irrespective of caste, creed, religion. They need to act very strong. See, hmm. when there's a one small post by any of our political workers, they go very strongly. They don't even spare any second or a minute. They just go strongly on them and, uh, you know, uh, do the needfully without even thinking twice whether they are right or wrong, whatever. But when it comes to the other, uh, their appeasement politics, they don't do the same. Uh, they don't have the same justice, same fairness is not been seen. Though this is what the Congress has been doing time and again. Let me make it, we are not trying to, you know, make all kind of, you know, allegation against the Congress party. This is not our motive. Our motive is to get a credible, trustworthy, ensure there's a right kind of law and order exists for the people of the Karnataka. This is the responsibility of the Congress government in the state of Karnataka, which is not happening. So we call upon the government to be more responsible, to ensure that the safety security of the people is ensured and whatever other theories, whatever it might be, it is a responsibility of the government to answer. Okay. One minister comes and answers something else. The home minister says, don't uh, uh, look for, look up to the statement of other ministers. As a home minister or the chief minister statements only is reliable. All other minister statements are not reliable. So it okay. is up to for them. We are not here to t tell about any other theories, competitor. This competitor business is, uh, has got nothing to do. Nobody does mm. that. There's enough mm. scope for any, any person to do their own business. They don't right. have to compete with somebody else. Probably this is more to do with the uh, safety or the law and order. What needs to be addressed very strongly, the Congress government in the state of Karnataka, it has completely failed. Let me make it very clear. Ashwat Narayan, thank you very much, sir, for your time here on India Today and for taking our questions. We, of course, will be keeping a very close watch on the entire investigation and continue to report on a daily basis.